Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to part 19 of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time full playthrough walkthrough. In this section of the walkthrough, we are going to obtain all 56 overworld gold scotolas. Throughout this walkthrough, we have been collecting them as we've come across them in each of the game's dungeons, and we've gotten all 44 out of the dungeons, but I have not collected a single one in the overworld. In total, there are 35 gold scotolas in Child Link's overworld, and 21 in uh, Adult Link's overworld for a total of 56. The way this guide is going to work is we are going to effectively retrace our steps through the game. However, now that we have all of the items and all the weapons, we're able to obtain every gold scotella without having to do uh, really anything special. The way the game is structured is that you will find gold scotellas, for instance, as Child Link, that maybe you can't reach because you don't have the boomerang. The boomerang is the last thing you get as Child Link, at least in the beginning of the game, so you're intended to remember it and go back. Because we have everything, we're just going to pick them all up as we go. We're going to do this mostly in the order that the game originally flowed, so we're going to start as Child Link in Kokiri Forest. Okay, let's do that now. And I'm happy to report that I finally got a brand new GameCube controller, so I should no longer have any incorrect inputs. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do as Child Link is go to the, uh, the Magic Bean Salesman and purchase the rest of them. We planted one early on, so we should have, I think, like five or six more to purchase. If you have not purchased Magic Beans before, the gentleman only appears uh, in Child Link's world, and he appears uh, at the entrance to Zora's River. The first Magic Bean will cost you 10 rupees, and then every Magic Bean after that will cost you an additional 10 rupees. So the second one is 20, the third one is 30, the fourth one is 40, and so on and so forth for a total of uh, 10 Magic Beans. Oops. Oh my god, that feels so good on a real, like on a brand new controller, jeez. Anyway, in order to leave uh, the market, we do need to have it be during the day. So I'm not going to edit this, like I'm not going to cut out any downtime. We're literally just going to roam through Hyrule Field uh, to each area of the game and get them. And we'll just hang out along the way. So like I said, we got to go to Zora's River first to get the rest of the magic beans. I did plant one in, um, uh, in the beginning of the game when we first visited the magic bean salesman. Now, the interesting thing is that in all but one Magic Bean Dirt Patch, or soft soil as it's commonly referred to, in all but one of them, if you were to place uh, bottled bugs down the soil patch, a Gold Scotella will pop out. So we're going to get all nine of those. The only one that that does not work on, believe it or not, is this one. So for some reason, this dirt patch just doesn't work. Okie doke. So, we have a full wallet, which is good. What number are we on? It's been a long time since I visited the IRS. We're on number five. It costs 50 rupees. So, the next one's going to cost 60. And every time you purchase one, his, uh, his dialogue changes a little bit. So, when you buy the first one, he says, no one's ever bought these before. They're not very popular, something like that. And then the next one, he'll say, oh, they're getting popular. Now they're super popular. Super rare, even. Like, it, you know, he keeps building onto it. How many do we have? Six, three more. I think I have enough rupees to do this. We have the legendary magic beans. Yeah, I think I'm okay. I should have... 50 rupees left over at the end. Chomp, chomp, chomp. We have magic beans. Do you want them, huh? Huh? 100 rupees. Yeah, this guy is just loving us. Alright. Sold out. So once you have all of them, you want to go ahead and plant one here. 
But like I said, there's no Gold Scotella here, so we're just going to head to uh, Kokiri Forest. Um, one thing we're actually going to do first, though, is we're going to play the Song of Storms here. Nope. What is it? No. no. What is the Song of Storms? This is crazy. A down up. Jeez. In doing so, a grotto will open up. And grottos are great places to get bugs. Unfortunately, these are business scrubs. That stinks. That's okay. Sometimes they're under rocks. You can always purchase them from potion shops. We'll, we'll get him along the way. Oh, well. They're not as common as Majora's Mask. We'll get him. All right. So, uh, sort of like a rule of thumb with, um, with Gold's Cotellas is a lot of time they kind of only come out at night. It's not like a golden rule, it's not an absolute, but it is, for the most part, that's the way it is. Typically in interiors, they come out whenever. Um, but in exteriors, it's generally a nighttime thing, which means you're gonna be playing the Sun Song a lot. All right. All right, so here we are in Kokiri Forest, and now we need to go behind the Know-It-All Brothers' house, which I believe is over here. Oh, no, I know where it is. Saria's house. It's up here. Open for bugs. So for this, you can just backflip onto it, or you can use the boomerang. All right, next is a dirt patch, but I don't have any bugs, which is a bit of a bummer, but maybe we can get them real fast here. Yeah, they're substantially more common in Majora's Mask than they are in Ocarina of Time. The thing is, I don't think this shop sells bugs. I would be kind of shocked if it did. No, let me just see this, something. Cure forest, bug location. In front of the Gossip Stone outside the Lost Woods. Okay, cool. We can get them here in Kokiri Forest. Great. Actually, there's a hidden grotto up here near the entrance to the Lost Woods. And if you're playing on a controller that has rumble, or if you're playing on the 3DS version, and you have turned in, I believe it's 10 gold skulltillas, you will have received the Shard of Agony, or the Stone of Agony. Um, I think maybe it's 20. Um, and so your controller will rumble, or in the 3DS version, it will um, shine on the screen. All right, so I'm gonna show you a trick. So you wanna take out a bottle. 
I guess we're gonna empty these bottles first. There's actually, you can duplicate or triplicate even um, bugs. So all you ever need is one bottle of bugs and then you can basically have infinite bugs throughout the entire game. All right, so there are the bugs. So you catch one. If you hurry up, you can probably catch another. Very good. Usually you can't catch all three. Yeah, that's okay. So what you want to do is you want to take one of the bugs and you want to let it out. It's not one bug in there, it's three. It's always going to be three. So effectively what we're always going to be doing is we're always going to be replicating our bugs as we play the game. So let's just get that into a fourth bottle. Like I said, typically you can only ever catch two at a time just because of the delays uh, with you know Link getting a treasure and the music playing and the dialogue box popping up. Okay, great. Perfect. So now that we've done that, Excuse me. Let's go ahead to the soft dirt patch, which is just over here. Excuse me. I always get hiccups as soon as I start these videos. Okie doke. So this is what I'm talking about here. So what you're going to do is you're going to open a bottle just over the dirt patch. Now the thing with that... Oh, that actually... Okay. So in Majora's Mask, you can't replicate bugs all that. They all go inside. But I guess in Ocarina of Time, you can. All right, so every dirt patch except for the one in Lake or er, Zora's River, um, every single one has a gold scotilla in it. Now, I almost forgot to do this, but make sure you plant your magic beans um, after you're done. And when you come back as an adult, it'll be a big leaf that you can ride. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the Lost Woods which conveniently is just in front of us. Oh my god, I cannot tell you how good this controller feels. I am so thrilled to be playing on a brand new GameCube controller. Shout out to Video Games New York. They, I just purchased it from them. This is not like an advertisement, but they are a local game store in New York City. They have a great online shop, great staff, and they, they stock Japanese items all the time, including GameCube controllers that came out with Smash, uh, Smash Ultimate. So if you're looking for GameCube controllers, VGNY's got them. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make two lefts. We're gonna go past the Skull Kid. And we're gonna plant some more bugs right here. So it's okay if you do this out of order. So here, I'll plant the, uh, the beans first, and then I'll take out the bugs. Oh, they all went down. There you go. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get away from the dirt patch, and I'm going to duplicate bugs. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the other soft soil here. So we're gonna go right. And we're gonna go left. We're gonna go right. Two lefts. So left and then left again, and then we're gonna be in the near the forest stage. Okay. And the dirt mound is right here. So I'm gonna like let the bugs out here and hopefully I'll be able to catch one. Alright, we're 
done over here. So next, we're gonna go to Lon Lon Ranch. Pretty much all of these can be gotten at night. Like I said, you're going to be playing the Sun Song a lot when getting Gold Scotellas. Yes, hello. Oh my god, I should have bought this controller from the start. Master Quest is going to be so much easier now. <laughs> Both of my wave birds were just, I don't know. Had weird problems. Big dead zones on the C sticks. The Z buttons were mushy. And I, I cleaned them out too. I don't know what happened. Okay. All right, Lon Lon Ranch. Oh, what? Nope, didn't mean to do that. I was just trying to hold this so I could scroll down. All right, so there's going to be one, two, three, four in Lon Lon Ranch. So once we enter, we'll play the Sun Song. And remember, the time of day does not pass in interiors. So that includes towns. So the first one is right up here. Take out our boomerang. Okay. Next one, we're going to roll into the tree over here. A lot of them are stuck in trees. Okay. Next one is going to be behind the corral. Here at Lon Lon Ranch at night, you got to be careful with the buzzards. They can track you from kind of a mile away. All right, and southwest. Basically around the track. Right there. Wow, how wasn't that a double tap? Come on now. Okie doke. Next up is going to be in the market. So what I'm going to do is... Okay, so actually, I'm, I wasn't sure if there's one here as an adult, but I guess there isn't. So if you look, just like in dungeons, on your map, there is a Gold Scotola icon on each of the overworld locations. So that's how you know if you're done in an area. So now we have 52. At 50, you can get a heart piece. That's why I chose to do this first rather than heart pieces, because several heart pieces are essentially locked behind Gold Scotolas. Of course, the 50 requirement, but then also all the magic bean locations. It just, some of them hide hard pieces. It just made sense to do this first. But yeah, you know you're done with an area when the Gold Scotella icon is there, just like in a dungeon. Okay. So let's warp back to the Temple of Time just so we can get into uh, Hyrule Castle Town. All right. So the first one um, is actually going to be in the guardhouse, just near the drawbridge or the entrance to the town. Um, and just to speak quickly again about the overworld map uh, with the Gold Scotola icons, that counts, a Gold Scotola icon will not appear until you have all the Gold Scotolas in an area as both child and adult link. So it's not like a different overworld for each one. It, it all counts for the same tracker. 
I think it's this box. Yep. Oh my god. I, has, I hate how these things, like, hit you. I'm trying to see if there's any hearts in here. That's okay. I, I figured it was all rupees. Anyway, that, that's one. Next two are actually near the castle itself. So there's a tree here. You can roll into this. There'll be a scatola inside. Okay. Oops. And the next one is actually near the castle itself. Oh my god. Please climb the vine. Thank you so much, child. So we do just have to skirt past the guards really fast. None of these have a nighttime requirement, by the way. The guardhouse can be done during the day, and both of these can be done during the day as well. Okie doke. I'm curious what this gossip stone says. They say that contrary to her elegant image, Princess Zelda of Hyrule Castle is in fact a tomboy. Oh, I guess that's a chic hint. Okie doke. So there's a peculiar tree over here. And this is the location of our next gold skulltola. I believe this is Song of Storms. If not, it's a bomb. Oh, Song of Storms. Sometimes both will work. Sometimes it's only Song of Storms. All right, so behind these bombable walls are going to be giant Skultolas. And then one of them hides a gold Skultola. It ain't that one. It ain't that one. It's this one. I guess I I might be thinking of a Majora's Mask Grotto with the giant Skultolas. Oh, God. Alrighty. I'm going to see if there's just ammo in here. That'd be kind of nice. Yep. And so many bugs. In case you need more bugs, they're here. Okie doke. So that's that. Next is going to be Kakariko Village. So I'm just going to play the Nocturne of Shadow. Left, right, right. Oops. Oops. This is why it's easier to just do this at the end of the game. You, you basically you can get the adult swallow and the giant swallow just by getting dungeon skulltolas. The rest is just sort of gravy. So it's just easier to do it all now. You could warp around, you could do all sorts you have all the items, it's just easier. Alright, so we're gonna come back to the graveyard. Um actually no, we'll just do this now. So uh No, there's two in the graveyard, so we're gonna do the village first. Just, I'm going to keep order with the list I made. Alrighty. So, let's go ahead and change it to night. That's Song of Storms. Okie doke. Hmm. 
So we're going to basically start at the village entrance, but we, we're going to see a bunch along the way, but I'm just sort of working backwards because we warped. All right, so in this tree is a gold scotella. This has to be done at night, so just roll into this tree. Don't get... I mean, if you get stuck talking to the guy, it's fine, but, you know, the A button can sort of change context, and then it gets annoying. All right. Side of the building under construction, which is up here. All right, it's going to be right behind here. This one you don't need the boomerang for. You can just climb up. All right, side of the Skulltilla house, which is just over here. All right. Big ladder at the lookout tower. Heading up to the moon tower. My Matthew McConaughey impression is terrible. Anyway, it's up here. This one is a little annoying. I don't think you can get this with a boomerang. I could be wrong. Nope. All right, just climb up, and then we're going to drop right back down. Okay, there's going to be another one up here on the side of one of these houses. I think it's right here. Yep. Okay, now to the graveyard. Soft soil patch, as well as just a scotella in the wild. All right. So back here, up on this wall, you find this one. Get oak. And then don't forget about your soft soil over here. All right, I'm just gonna step away, drop my bugs, try to duplicate. Okay, now we're going to go to Death Mountain Trail. And Death Mountain Trail and Goron City and Death Mountain Crater are kind of interesting. Reason for that is because one of you can't access the soft soil in Death Mountain Crater until you have learned the Bolero of Fire as Adult Link. Um, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to do all Death Mountain Trail, go to Goron City, go higher up in Death Mountain Trail... Um, enter Death Mountain Crater from near the Great Fairy Fountain where we got uh, the magic meter. Um, and then we're going to play the Bolero Fire and just go down a level in Death Mountain Crater. Alrighty. So for these, we want our bombs. Oh. And boomerang. Okay. So I think in the 3DS version... Oh, you can climb it in this version, too. That's so weird. In the 3DS version, this wall is clearly climbable. I don't understand, <laughs> I don't understand why that's climbable. But it is. I thought it was just a change they made. Oh, Navi, what do you want? We have to see... Yeah, yeah, I know. 
It's on the list, okay? There's some other stuff to do. We got some bugs to kill and some hearts to collect, but hearts are next time. Okay, so we have a soft soil patch here, so same deal. Does this Katola gonna like pop into my face? That'd be cool. Nah. Alrighty. That's that. So let's go to Goron City and we've got some explosives to set. Okay, so inside Goron City, if you come over here, got some boulders to blow up. Oh my goodness. Ah. Wow, this is embarrassing. Alright, and behind here, there's going to be a lot more stuff to blow up. I think you can also get this as Adult Link, this one in particular, because there's silver boulders in here. But I, I could be wrong. That could just be part of the maze. It's all the way in the back of this room. Oh, please. See what's in here. I think it's just bombs or rupees or something. Hey. Nice. And what is what does this gossip stone have to say for itself? They say that there is a secret around the entrance to Gerudo Valley. Wow. You don't say. Okay, that's Goron City, Death Mountain Crater. We're gonna take the long way up. We're gonna go up the trail. And this one's, we're basically gonna go all the way up Death Mountain Trail to where we first met the Great Fairy. And then from there, we are going to enter Death Mountain Crater. And there's gonna be a Gold Scotola in a box. The box, you opened it. We came. I still haven't watched the new Hellraiser on Hulu. I've been meaning to. It is Halloween. Or it is. <laughs> it is October. I'm, I'm not even bothering. It wastes so much time to stop for this. Wow, I can't believe that hit. Okay. Okie doke. And luckily, Mr. Owl is here in case you need a ride down. We don't, but in case you do. 
All right. So we only have a minute to live. That's the first one. And now what we're going to do... Just checking my list. Yep. We're going to play the Bolero Fire. Down A, down A, right down, right down. So, here's the soft soil. And then, don't forget about your magic beans. Great. Okie doke. Now we're gonna go to we're gonna go to Gerudo Valley. Um, unfortunately, with Childlink, Gerudo Valley is just always out of the way. There's no <laughs> there's no other way to describe it. It's just out of the way. And there's no quick way to warp to it. Because the warp song for that region sent you to the Desert Colossus, which we will go to eventually. But for now, we got to do this manually. Valley, of course, is to the west. Oh, wow, there's the... Hard to tell, but that was the running man using the bunny hood. And I will tell you, my notes, they're not out of order. They are in a chosen order. I'm deliberately leaving the two Gold Skull Tullas, at least as Child Link, um, until the very end of the Child section. One of them, we're actually going to walk right past. But just because of the way I'm trying to structure this guide, I want to make it so anybody can use it. Um, you know, not just folks following along with this particular walkthrough. So I want to be able to, like, put sections and timestamps in the description and have it make more sense. Because sometimes, you know, guides for Gold Scotellas are just sort of, like, all over the place. They do a lot of backtracking, and it's just, I don't know. I, I find it to be a lot easier this way. Even if it is not necessarily incredibly efficient. Okay. Gerudo Valley. This one only appears at night. It's on this wall right here. Slingshot ammo at some point. <laughs> so that's one. And then the next one, we are going to pick up a cucko. And we are going to jump across here. And then we're just going to go down. Right here. Now, I will tell you, there is a piece of heart behind that waterfall. We'll get that in the next video. But we're going to do literally this exact same thing at least two more times. Because we got to come back here as an adult. Um, actually, I guess we don't necessarily have to come back here as an adult. Um, at least to this particular spot. But, yeah. And because this is so out of the way, I'm curious what this says. They say that the thief named Naburu, who haunts this area, is a Gerudo. Wow. Riveting, let me tell you. Oh. There she is? What? 
No, that's not her. Why did you come all the way down here? What? You were just about to ask me the same thing? Well, now that you're down here, you may as well make the best of things. Yeah. Okay, well, anyway. All right, you know the drill. Bugs. And beans. Alright. So, the reason I do this now, or just in general, is because I want to show you something. Somebody, I forget who it is, but somebody tells you, oh, it's one of the Zora that you find, I think, in Lake Hylia. Uh, one of the Zoras tells you that this is a shortcut from Gerudo Valley. And this is it. I think that's pretty cool. Anyway. Oh my god. So this isn't actually what I... I just want to show you the shortcut. We're going to come back here in a bit. Um, we're actually going to work backwards now, though. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Zora's Domain, but then we're just going to go to Zora's River. And then we're going to literally work backwards, just because I want to try to go in the same order that the game moves in. Oh boy. Okay, dog. So luckily there's a quick way to the entrance of Zora's River. I should just jump in the river. It literally doesn't get easier than this. So many rupees along the way. All right. Okay, so starting at Zora's River, we're going to bonk into a tree. Okie doke. Now we are literally <laughs> going to go right back to where we were. Again, I just like to show this in order. If we can make it there before it turns to daytime again, we're in good shape. If not, it's okay. No, we'll just play the sun song. Not a big deal. Alright. I do find it interesting that the majority of Gold Skatola is in the field. Um... Or of a child link. I actually do wonder if there's a bit of a balance between the three child dungeons and uh, the adult dungeons. Anyway, Gold Skotel is right here. Ah, it's okay. You actually get to see something pretty cool. So you get the hook shot, or the hook shot. Take out the ocarina and the slingshot. So you're going to see a Gold Skotel spawn. Pretty cool. I always like that. Okie doke. So that's that one. Now we're going to play Zelda's Lullaby. Open this up. Okay. So the next two are going to be in Zora's Fountain. There are no Gold Skatolas as Child Link in Zora's Domain. Oh, 
There is a heart piece here, though. But we'll get that next time. Okie doke. We're still in the southeast area. Oh. So you see the ice cavern. Alright. So right here on this log, we're going to walk onto the log, and you can see the gold scotola on that wall. Southeast area, we're gonna roll into a tree. That tree over there is what we're looking for. I'm curious what this gossip stone says. Oh, behind. So the one on the wall only spawns at night. I believe this one will spawn during the day. It's been a long time since I spoke to Gossip Stones. I'm kind of glad I'm doing this. They say that you can swim faster by continuously pressing B. Wow. Oh, what is the Requiem? Not the Requiem. Minuet? No. Serenade. A down, right, right, left. I swear, the folks that work in my accounts payable department at work, they work all through the night because I get approvals at all times of day. Anyway, <laughs> okay, here in Lake Hylia, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the Fire Arrow platform, and as Child Link at night, there is a Gold Scotola here. Okie doke. Now, the next two are almost in the same exact location. They are uh, at the Lakeside Laboratory. Oh, that's funny. You can hear the Water Temple door opening. I wonder if the state of the hookshot... I actually think it does. I think the state of the, the key that like holds the gate shut to the water temple, I think that carries over. All right, so we're gonna see another Gold Scatola spawn because this one only spawns at night. I went from a, a mushy Z button that I had to really jam to a very sensitive one, so. It's always fun. I can't believe I did all the target practice games on that controller. I should have waited for this. Okay, there's that one. And then next, there's a dirt patch here. I have to look up what dirt patch I'm missing because I don't know. I have one bean left. Hmm. Uh, soft soil, Ocarina of Time. Lake Hylia, Kakariko Graveyard, Kokiri Forest, Lost Woods, Lost Woods, Dodongo's Cavern, this one. Gerudo, that one. Desert Colossus. Right. Okay. That's actually our next destination. <laughs> I always forget about Desert Colossus. Okay. And I don't know the song, so we're going to warp to the Spirit Temple. 
A down, A down, right down, A. Oh, that's fine. A down, A down, right down. A down, A, right down, A, yeah. Oh, I was doing A down, A down. All right. Okay. So, what we're going to do... Hello. And we're going to come right here. Throw down our last batch of bugs. You don't need to save them after this. You can literally empty your bottles. Okay, so that's it for the bugs. That's it for the magic beans. Go ahead and empty your bottles. We'll fill these up with fairies when we get to Ganon's Tower. There's a little hint. There's actually a secret fairy fountain. Not, It's not a fairy fountain, but it's a room with fairies in Ganon's Tower that's hidden. Okay. All right, two left is Child Link, both in Hyrule Field. Uh, so what we're going to do... So we are actually going to... We're gonna warp to Kakariko Village. It's a little bit quicker this way. One of the Hyrule Field Gold Skatolas is Child Link is in a tree just outside of Kakariko Village. And then we're gonna run all the way across the field to the entrance to Gerudo Valley. And then we're gonna transform back into Adult Link, ride a lot of our magic bean pads, Get the last bunch of gold scotolas. What's funny is that the magic bean leaves, uh, as adult link, a lot of them can be negated through other means, either by, or at least the prizes that they give you can just be negated either by the hover boots or the long shot. So it's kind of funny. But it is what it is. It's actually in a grotto near the tree. Sorry about that. It's not in the tree itself. It's not this one. Yeah, my controller's not shaking. It's this one over here. Oh, requires bombs, this one. I'm not exactly sure where it is. There we go. Alrighty. So, with this guy. And then the gold one is behind this spider web. Now, it's it's a little tricky. I'll, I'll show you. So, this requires Din's fire. Which, if you somehow have not gotten yet, just go to uh, Hyrule Castle, and there's a, uh, a boulder you can blow up along the trail. It's a great fairy fountain there. Oh, does this not require Dins Fire? I always thought this required Dins Fires, because you had to burn away the spider webs. I could be wrong. Nope. Maybe I hit it at a good angle. I always thought that required Dins Fire. Anyway, it'll look like this. Okay, maybe not. Maybe that's a 3DS thing. Maybe I'm thinking of a different grotto. Anywho. The final Gold Scatola as Child Link is near the entrance to Gerudo Valley. And then we 
can transform into Adult Link and basically just warp around a lot because he has access to some shortcuts that Child Link does not. Mostly Epona and having the long shot helps a lot. Almost there. Oh, P hat. Okay. So there's a grotto up here. You can hear the cow. I believe it's in this circle. Yep. Not sure if it's bombs or song of storms for this one. Bombs will do. Ooh. Lovely. This is the one I was thinking of. This one requires Dinspire. I don't think it's that one. Oh, in here. Okay, so at the end of Child Link's adventure and near the end of the game, you should have 79 gold scotellas. 79. And then there's 6, 7, 3, 8, 9, 40, 50, 6. Yeah, 21. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. Yeah, 21. Okay. Had, had to <laughs> to literally count on my fingers to make sure I'm right. I don't want to end this video with 99. Okay, so now that we are done with Child Link, it's time to become Adult Link. Yes, okay, good. I want to make sure my notes are correct. I literally have a Google Doc open. Okay. So, same deal with Adult Link. We are going to kind of play it in the order that the game sends us. So, what that means is we're going to basically go straight to Kakariko Village. night, there is a gold scatola on top of Impa's house. Now, there is a gold scatola that is available before this, but you need the hook shot in order to get it. And personally, I like leaving it to my last. I like for it to be my last Gold Scotola just because of the cinematic kind of area that it's in. It's at the end of the game, basically, but you can get it as soon as you have the hook shot, more or less. Okay, anyway. Uh, Impus House is back here. Hello. Yes, thank you. What am I? I gotta wait. Silly. Right, let's do this. Let's do a little bit of hopscotch. Yeah. 
way easier. Great. So that should be it for Kakariko Village. Perfect. Okay, next we're going to do Kokiri Forest. Mm -mm. I don't I don't know the mini of the forest. A up left, right, left. Okay. Ba -da -da. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is even though like we're starting from the Sacred Forest Meadow, I'm going to Ka uh, Kokiri F Village. Or Kokiri Forest, rather. So I'm basically just gonna ignore uh, we're gonna ignore a couple ghost katolas that we walk past. Again, I'm just trying to do this in the order that the game uh, sends us. It's just easier. Also, do keep in mind that um, the prize for 100 gold skulltulas is a free wallet fill. Oh, dude. Come on. How did you even see me? So, if you are able to... No. If you're able to, try to uh, enter Kakari... Or try to get your wallet down to zero rupees before you talk to the last uh, Skultola family member. Because no matter what, it's sort of like when you give the bunny hood to the, uh, to the running man. Uh, no matter what is in your wallet, it'll max it out. And if for whatever reason you've chosen not to redeem any Gold Skotola rewards until the end of the game. I know that can be fun for some, as a bit of a challenge. Um, make sure that you speak to everyone else in the room before you speak to the last guy, uh, because otherwise uh, you're going to get 99 rupees as a reward, and that's lame. Okay, so the next Gold Skotola is over here. I'm just taking the leaf as a shortcut. You don't need it. But on top of this house here. So luckily, Adult Link only needs the, the long shot in a lot of cases. You don't have to destroy him with the bow. Okay, so that should be it for Kokiri Forest. Yep. All right, time to go back into the Lost Woods. That's a big sword. Jesus. So what we're going to do is we are going to um, ride... Whoops, wrong, wrong way. We're going to ride the second leaf that we planted, or the second magic bean that we planted. The first one basically just gives you like a shortcut out of the Lost Woods to get back to Hyrule Field. It doesn't really do a whole lot. I'll show you. Oops. Here. See, all this does is it it just sort of brings you over here so you can, like, jump off. I don't know, like, why you would need that, but that's what it does. I do believe in Master Quest there's a Gold Skotola on top of one of these pillars, which seems like a better reason. <laughs> but, yeah, some of them don't really have much purpose. All right, so from the entrance, we're going to go right... Left, right, left, left. And you want to do this at night. Okay, and we're going to take this leaf up. And there it is. Okay, so the next one is going to be in the Sacred Forest Meadow. So we're literally just going to play the Minuet of Forest again. Actually, no. I'm going to show you a different way to get this. Just because we're, I'm really ne never going to have another opportunity to show you this. Hey. 
So in the Sacred Forest Meadow, it's probably a Wolfos. Nope. Okay, Navi is gonna fly off into the distance. Come on. There we go. So when that happens, play the Scarecrow song. Say hello to Pierre. And then this just allows you to skip all the moblins, which is just super helpful. All right. And then there's a gold scotella on this back wall. Now, what's interesting is that you could have done that uh, from the start. Like, we did get the Scarecrow song extremely early, but I just forgot about it. Like, I forgot about that Scarecrow location, frankly. But you could have done that to avoid the maze, like, the entire time. Okay, anyway. Lost Woods, Kokiri Forest is done. Kakariko Village is done. Next is Death Mountain Trail. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right back to... Oops. Why can I not remember this song? We're going to go right back to Kakariko Village. Left, right, right. Okay. There we go. Right back to Kakariko Village, and then we're going to head up to Death Mountain. And kind of the same thing here. Um, we're basically going to do Death Mountain Trail, Goron City, Death Mountain Trail. You know, kind of the same order, almost. I think there is probably a shortcut we could take with the Bolero Fire, but I'm not going to bother. There's a piece of heart in that wooden crate. We'll get that later. We'll get it in the next video. So there's actually a pretty interesting trick with that guy who is patting the ground there. He will buy bugs from you for 50 rupees each. You can just collect bugs once and keep duplicating them and basically just get infinite rupees really fast. Rupees aren't that valuable in this game. Frankly, like, you only need them a couple times. Unless you like buying potions, you know, which by all means. Anyway. So what we're going to do is we're just going to make this a little bit easier on ourselves. I think you can take this all the way up. Yeah, so the major purpose of this is for that hard piece, but, yep, yeah, great. So, you can hear this thing already. Go ahead and hit this twice. There you go. Alright, and then we can go into Goron City. And near the Goron's Ruby pedestal that sits in the middle of the city, on the back side of it, there's going to be a Gold Skotola. Right here. And with the long shot, this is super easy. You can do this with the hook shot if you want, but it's just way easier with the long shot. Okay. Goron City, Death Mountain Trail behind the boulder at night near the volcano path. All right, so a little shortcut. As an adult, we can just do this. Hello, thank you. So here we are at Death Mountain Summit already. Just way easier to do that than go all the way back up. But our destination is actually over here. So, behind this boulder at night, here's a gold scotella. Hey. 
All right, that should be it for Death Mountain. Perfect. Okay, so next up is Zora's River. So... Oh, boy. So there's actually two in Zora's River as Adult Link. way to get there is so to just exit Kakariko Village and turn left. Are there none in Hyrule Field as Adult Link? That's so funny. I'm like looking at my notes again. I just I just realized that. Anyway. Okay, Zora's River. So, with the magic bean plant, this gets a little bit quicker. You do want to be fast though, because these only appear at night. You don't need this magic bean plant. You can just walk up the river and get to the um, get to a ladder over here is it on this wall yep I see it it's over here so right here but if you walk up the shallow river there's a ladder that brings you right here you can see the edge of it right here all right so it looks like we're gonna have to play the Sun song one more time that's okay The next one is right next to this bridge. Yeah, just missed it. It's okay. I'm so confused. Isn't it right here? How am I this confused? I just heard it. What? I'm actually looking this up. I'm so puzzled. Yeah, Zora's River. Once you cross a small bridge heading towards Zora's Domain, if you look high at the wall of North at nighttime. Small bridge? Do I have the wrong bridge in mind? What is happening? Where is this? No, oh, it's definitely over here. It's in this corner. Yeah. 
There it is. I knew, I knew it was over here. Well, thanks, Elder Dungeon. Dot net. All right. Anyway, that was wild. Okay. Oops. All right. So, as adult Link, there is one in Zora's domain, and then what a lot of people consider to be the final goal, Kotoa is in Zora's Fountain as an adult. It requires a silver gauntlet. This is probably reachable from the surface, but we're gonna go this way. I should say it's probably reachable from the surface with the with the long shot, but the hook shot definitely not. Anyway, you want to be real careful. And this only appears at night, so if you don't see this gold scotola here, come back at night. Whoops. Okay, so that's that one. Like I said, there's another one in Zora's Fountain at night. So this requires the silver gauntlets, a bomb, the lens of truth, and either the arrows or the long shot. All right, so kind of just near where we uh, got the one out of the tree is Child Link. We're gonna come over here. And this silver boulder is peculiar, and it's peculiar because it's sort of like hiding the crack for Furore's Wind, like it's hiding the crack of the cave. But what it's really hiding is this. So there's arrows and magic. That's kind of your cue here. And the giant Scatullas are invisible. So you need the Lens of Truth to see them. Floating midair there. Alright. This one is not invisible for some reason. I think it's because it's trying to give you a hint that there's something up here. Like, if you were to just, like, start at the surface and, like, hit C up and start looking around, I think they wanted to give you a hint that there's a way to reach this platform, which I think is smart. I think it's a totally good thing to do, but it is interesting that it's also a giant Scotella, and but it's the only one that's not invisible. Anyway, that's my two cents there. So, now this, basically this entire side of the map is done. So we got Zora's Domain that includes Zora's Fountain. We've got 10 Gold Scotolas left. So what we're going to do now is we're going to keep going along with the way the game is. Nope. Nope. we got to play the, uh, that actually was the right song. It's A up, left, right, left. A down, right, right, left. Play the, uh, what is this thing called? The Serenade of Water. <laughs> We're up to Lake Helia. And at night, we want to turn around. And if you remember, after we finished the Water Temple, Sheik was standing on top of a tree. Well, there's a Gold Scotella up there. You do need to be kind of quick, though. Hey, there we go. Please die in time. Oh, God. Thank God. Okay. I didn't want to have to play the Sun Song up here. Cool. So that's that one. Next, we're going to go over to the Lakeside Laboratory. And this requires the Iron Boots. 
So inside the Lakeside Laboratory, there's going to be uh, an area that you can dive. And as Adult Link, if you actually do successfully dive all the way down, it requires the golden scale. If you touch the bottom, you'll hear the treasure chime, or the puzzle solve chime. And if you speak with the scientist inside, he'll give you a piece of heart. However, we're going to do that next time. For now, we're just going to sink to the bottom and roll into a box. So, do your favorite thing. Equip the iron boots. And sink to the bottom. I love how there's a shark down here for some weird reason. Alrighty, that's that. That should be it for Lake Hillia. Go ahead and check the map to confirm. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to go to the west, and we're going to go to Gerudo Valley. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to, because, oh my god, because we're in the south of Hyrule, it's actually better to just ride Epona into Gerudo Valley. It's easier. <sighs> Oh my god. I thought she was about to jump into the lake. Alrighty. What? Oh, there she gets caught on slopes. Okay. So a lot of the Gerudo Valley ones are going to be at night, which makes sense. Because Katolas generally only come out at night. See, we're already so close. That's why Adult Link is faster, because he has a Pona, he's got good shortcuts. Child Link, you're just rolling all over the place. Okay. So, the first one... There's actually two kind of right next to each other. So we're going to cross over. Because we rescued the carpenters, the bridge is complete. We finally got to work. All right. So let's go ahead and turn it to nighttime. All right. And then one is going to be behind this tent. Grotto back here, too. My controller's going nuts. Okay. And then just behind this arch is another one. Nope. There we go. Okie doke. So let's enter Gerudo Fortress now. I guess we could take a pony with us. Can't leave the old girl behind. Wow. Alright. So, one of them is in the prison. So, we'll grab that one first. Unfortunately, there's no, like, easy way to get thrown in prison. I guess you can't get thrown in prison anymore. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. That's okay, though. So we're literally just going to retrace our steps through the prison. This way we can uh, get this one. Oh, duh. <laughs> I'm so used to just doing this. Okay, so it's actually within spitting distance, but we can't reach it. Okay. 
This one is most certainly just easier to get when you're doing the dungeon, but... You know, that's not my style. We're gonna retrace our steps here to get a hard piece. It's it's in a chest right above us. Okay, so that's that one. That only appears at night. The next one is in the archery range. Glad we brought a pona, because this would have been quite the hike. So this only appears at night. It's on the far target. So now we're going to go to the Haunted Wasteland. And we are going to basically go halfway through the Haunted Wasteland. Because there is a Gold Skotola at the bottom of the hut in the Midway Point. And then we'll warp to the Desert Colossus. I guess I just assumed I had to stop there. I, I'm sure opponent can go to the edge here. Okay. Day or night, this one doesn't matter. Although, I have to imagine this is actually easier during the day. Okie doke. So you want to follow the flags as best you can. That's the shop. We don't care about the shop. Oh my god, this is absolutely easier during the day. This is insane. I can't see anything. This is what it looks like when I don't wear my glasses. This is nuts. I just see shapes. Oh boy, where are we at? Yeah, we're playing the sun song. I can't do this. This is... wow. Well, I guess it matters somewhat. I hope that link is slowly sinking there. Oh my god, that's a million times easier. I can already see past it. Yeah, I did not see this one. Wow, we were so close. Okay. Cool. So just jump down here. Bada bing, bada boom. I believe there's a heart piece here if you light the torches, but we'll do that later. All right, Desert Colossus. What is the song? A down, A down, right down, A. Perfect. All right. Alright, 
for these. You want it to be nighttime. Ow. Oh boy. So we're gonna play the sun song. Oh, is this considered an interior? No, okay. Take the magic bean. And then we're gonna jump off here. Oh, wrong rock. It's on that one. Jesus. My bad. Well, while we're over here, we can get a different one. That's funny. All right. So at night, as an adult, on this palm tree over here, here in the oasis, you do have to be careful because you got these watermelon things. This is so annoying. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Leave me alone. Thank you. Okay. Wow. That was a lot. All right, so we're going to take the, the magic bean pod to the second rock. Hopefully we make it before the sun comes up. Oh my god, we wasted so much time on that. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh my goodness. That was incredible. I jumped and landed on the leaf and it took me away. That was perfect. Do that again. This time with gusto. There we go. Okay. That's that, 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 that. Don't have that yet. That, 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 that. 99 gold scotellas. So, let's warp back to the Temple of Time. And we're actually going to end this walkthrough here. We're ending at 99. And the reason for that is very simple. The, I'll show you where the 100th one is, or I'll at least tell you. And this isn't to, like, hide it from you. This is because when I do the walkthrough that's part of this series, when I do the, the part for Ganon's Tower, I want that to be, like, the actual full end of the game. So there's one Gold Skotola in that area... There's another upgrade in that area. There's like more to do, and there's cutscenes there that I don't really want to break up. But basically, here's how to get the final Gold Scotella. Walk to Ganon's Tower, which is where Hyrule Castle once was. Just walk there. Stay to the right. You'll see a white archway. Walk past the white archway. It's the old guard booth. Walk past it. Turn around. The Gold Scotella is on the arch. You just need the hook shot. And that's number 100. So when you have 100 gold Scotellas, the curse on the Scotella family is completely broken. It is best, if you care about it, the final reward is a full wallet. You could have zero rupees in your wallet. You could have 499 rupees in your wallet. They'll fill it. It's a one-time only deal. So it's best to go in there with as little rupees as, as possible, spend them on whatever you want to spend them on, although at this point in the game, they're kind of pointless. But the final reward is a full wallet. Similar to when you sold the bunny hood to the running man. Doesn't matter how many you have, they'll fill your wallet. But that's it. That's the location of all 100, or all 56. Well, I just had major deja vu. That's weird. All 56 overworld gold scotolas. So at this point, if you followed, a wall, followed along very closely, you should be exactly where I am. 99, the 100th is near Ganon's Tower. We'll get it a little bit later. But... Everywhere else on the map should have a Gold Scotella icon, including all the dungeons. There are no Gold Scotellas in the final dungeon, which is Ganon's Tower. There's just one outside. So Ganon's Tower is literally just a dungeon. However, the dungeon item, so to speak, is actually outside 
Oh no, sorry. There there is a dungeon item in there, but using that dungeon item, you can go outside and get the final upgrade of the game, uh, which uh, I'll leave to later. But there is a dungeon item in there. There's a boss key. It's a really cool dungeon, very reminiscent to the Ganon's Tower of A Link to the Past, where you're kind of just using all of the tools that you have acquired through the game and all the knowledge to solve pretty advanced puzzles. It's a really cool dungeon. I like it a lot. Okay, but that is it. In the next section of the walkthrough, we're going to go through and get all of the heart pieces. So there's a total of 36 pieces of heart in the game. As you can tell, we already have two. I had to get one of them from the Skull Kid in order to get either a Deku Nut or a Deku Stick upgrade. You have to play Saria Song first to him. Then he'll give you the upgrade after that. The other one we got before getting the biggest quiver at the Gerudo Archery Range. Uh, if you get 1,000 points there, you'll get a piece of heart. If you get 1,500, you get the quiver. Uh, and even if you get 1,500 your first time, you'll only get a piece of heart. So you had to get it that way. But I'll cover the rest in the next section of the walkthrough. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when you guys go live. If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the blue join button below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and join my Discord. The links for those are in the description below. As always, I'm Sweet Johnny Cage. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.